This has got to be one of the nicest mornings boat building that we've had. Ow! It's such an annoying pair. <laughs> that blue beast down there, my plumbing Everest. I'm sending smoke signals. Wow, that is a lot of smoke. I'm Jo and he's Vic. Together we've been navigating the English canals with our trusty canoe and two narrowboats. One of them is our home and the other we're turning into a travelling coffee shop on the water. Subscribe and come along for the ride. It's an early morning canoe today. Well, it's not that early, is it? No, not as early as we planned. We wanted to get up really early because it's been um, really hot. Like the sun goes right over the top of the cafe boat. So we're trying to get there early this morning so that then we can finish early before it gets insanely warm. <laughs> Bad early, but it still feels like we have to be quiet, like everyone's sleeping. Yeah. It's like stealth mode. Crows are having a right morning of it. What's on your agenda for today? Um, on the agenda is to paint. I've got I've got a rotor. I should show you that. I've made this very. This is my version of an Excel spreadsheet close to it as it will get and um because i've done some rolls with two coats of primer some with one coat so i'm just ticking them off it's starting to look a lot brighter in here which is cool yeah it's certainly starting to look a lot whiter isn't it yeah it's really white is it too white is it too bright mm, maybe <laughs> but we've committed to it now and i'm not buying the paint again <laughs> Look how well he's done. One of the resident spiders, he's done a bloody roaring trade. If we can do half as well as that, we'll be laughing. I'm about to go and down and visit my, well, our boat neighbour, Paul, uh, to get some of these strips. Get some of these cut. These are going to be like, they come like this. We got, well, we bought all this sort of timber. It's just been knocking about, but it turns out it's like quite nice hardwood or something. So we're going to use these as the as all the trims. Cover all of our sins. So far, Vic's been editing all these episodes, and this week I'm going to have a go so that he doesn't have to sit in on a Saturday doing it all. So I'm trying to think of a way to spruce up this video. Prepare yourself for the montage. So I just need to take down the lights. Just pull them. This is the problem with these lights. You try and pull them out and then these just snap like, and it hurts. Productive day? <laughs> uh, not boat wise. It's like half past seven. It's loads later than I thought it was. Yeah, Vic's got a real good way of getting out of work. <laughs> yeah, today has been, even for me, it has been, uh, pretty procrastinating because I've got jobs that I don't really want to do now yeah because they involve the engine room
what she's looking like. Pretty chilled out, really. She must just look the same all the time to people watching. We could just be using the same clip. What time is it? Half six. Probably, it's probably got to be my main focus because while we've been concentrating on getting the rest of the boat done, obviously we've just heaped tons of crap in here. I think I need to get it all out and have a proper rummage about in here. It's where I have to consign myself for the next few days. Sad. Right, should we get those bits of wood done for Paul? Yeah. So one of our boat neighbours over here. Oops. He's off a us. He's gonna help us uh oh blimey. Oh. Struck by nature. He's gonna help us cut some of this wood down so that we can use it for trims and things like that. Uh, so that'll be well good. So we're going to cut it to length and then deliver it over to him today, this morning. He's basically got like a wood workshop down there. He's got like the ultimate man shed. Yeah, he does. Or oh, woman shed. Hey! hey. This has got to be one of the nicest mornings boat building that we've had. Didn't get much nicer than just quietly measuring out bits of wood outside in the sunshine. Yeah, it helps me unwind, yeah. We are walking down to Paul's shed and um, he's going to cut all out that window sills. You can tell she's Paul's cat. In sawdust. Nice it's very noisy. There you go, young man. Oh, thanks very much for this. Yeah, look, what have we got now? Bunched into neat little stacks. Yeah, I thought that was a very professional touch from Paul. Yeah. There. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. He's an absolute gentleman. Don't know if you can see this, the water's really clear. Like all the weeds growing off the bow of the boat make it look like it's got a beard. A great bearded boat. What are you up to? Um, just giving this bit, <laughs> this is the last bit that we need to do with primer. This, These walls and the ceiling tile. Before we can go on with the gloss. Ooh. Have I got food around my mouth? I can feel you looking at me. Is it soup? Only a very ladylike amount. Where is it? <laughs> no, you haven't really. I'll tell you a bit about what I'm doing. So I've got, we're in the engine room now, just to orientate you. But we've got here, this used to house sort of distribution panels and things like that for the batteries or for the electrics. And we've taken all of them off and put them what? all down there. So now I'm going to remove this because basically it's getting in the way of 
the calorifier. Which is that blue beast down there. And it's my sort of plumbing Everest. Here's what we've discovered, the great blue beast. That's basically just a sort of like a boiler that you'd have in your ass. It's just a hot water tank that's kind of insulated. So all I have to do is figure out how to connect these bits here to the um, hot water sort of takeoff in the engine. Which sounds right, doesn't it? How are your dungas performing? I love these. I got these for Vic as like a uniform for when he finished work, like his new uniform. But he hates them, so I've taken to wearing them. <laughs> Especially because I keep getting paint all over me. Any bit of skin that's on show. Gets painted. Gets painted. Hope that's not our boat. It is it's quite a lot. Yeah. Shall I scoot round and have a quick look? Maybe. Back. Wow, that is a lot of smoke. Someone along the towpath just said it was um, it's Long Eaton School that's on fire. Apparently, no one's no one's in there, so no one was hurt. It's quite near, and it? it's definitely not good. We later learned that the fire had destroyed a primary school in Long Eaton. Luckily, no one was in the building and no one was hurt. So, you know, we've got our friend Jemima Puddle Duck, who's about to, well, her chicks are about to hatch, surely some point soon. I feel like she's been there for ages. Um, but the boat's a little bit too high. So I'm going to make out of this, just like the scrap wood we've got, a little ramp for her to get down, hopefully, so that then when the chicks are born, they can get in the water. I don't know if they have that instinct to sort of only build a nest where they know the chicks are going to be all right when they're born, but I just don't think she's thought about that, you know? So let's see what we can do. There we go. Can you see it? That's what I'm going with. It's also very dangerous. Dick, 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 dick. But um, no one will see that. It's quite the performance. This? Yeah. It's quite the art piece. I think it looks like something that could be in like um, Sword in the Stone. You know, like higgledy piggledy kooky fun. <laughs> Order yours in the comments below. Who's there? There's massive fish. Really? Yeah. Look at those tan lines. Oh man. Look at them, they're great. There's loads of them. I know. They're huge, aren't they? Yeah. I went for a little swim in the river. You went for a little swim? Yeah. Did you? Which river? The Trent. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> How was it? It was so nice. Was it? Yeah. I did see your wet pants, but I don't know what I thought. <laughs> it's quite nice to sit in the company of mum and dad like this, isn't it? All yeah. Three of us just relaxed together. I think it's southern mo movements that she doesn't really like, but then I think she's kind of she gets used stress. to you. Yeah. There's increasing speculation as to whether it's going to happen for her or not. 
Obviously we all hope for the best. I think she looks optimistic. Hopefully next week we'll have some good news for you on that front. But for this week, uh, that's it. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all soon. Bye.